Hey guys, it's Kerry. I'm featuring Chinese and Asian animals. Giant panda. They can easily stand on their hind legs and are commonly observed somersaulting, rolling and dust bathing. The forepaws, teeth and jaws have all adapted over time for bamboo consumption. Giant pandas have evolved with several adaptations to the skull. They have a large sagittal crest that has become wider and deeper, resulting in powerful jaws. The molars and premolars are wide and flatter than other bears, and they have developed extensive ridges and cusps in order to grind tough bamboo. Red panda are an ancient carnivore species and are probably most closely related to skunks, raccoons and weasels. Red pandas live in the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. They are highly territorial and live a solitary existence except during the mating season. They are excellent tree climbers and are able to descend trees head first. They have an extended wrist bone, much like the pandas, which helps them climb trees and eat bamboo. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Palace cat, elk or moose. China has a great variety of true deer and its close kin the musk deer. The largest deer is the elk, which is found in the Greater and Lesser Kingdom, ranges of the northeast. The moose stands 2 meters tall and weighs as much as 700 kilograms. Roe deer, Samba deer, Pear David's deer. It is unique. It has the hooves of an ox the antlers of a deer, neck of a camel and tail of a donkey. It is native to the river valleys of China. Their body length is up to 2.2 meters and 1.2 meters at the shoulder. Yak? As the rat approaches, the males become very aggressive and regularly fight amongst each other to establish dominance and mating rights. They will charge at each other with their heads lowered and spar with their horns. Snub-nosed monkey? They're named because they only have nostrils and virtually no nose. Four of the five species in the world are found in China. Given the only ape that is native to China. They are tree dwellers using their long arms to swing from branch to branch. Their primary mode of locomotion is brachiation which involves swinging from branch to branch for distances up to 15 meters at speeds as much as 55 kilometers per hour. They can also make leaps up to 8 metres. A novel way to have a drink. That's a better idea. A mure leopard is native to northern China. Its thick fur is pale cream coloured, particularly in winter. In summer, their fur is brighter with more vivid coloration pattern. Males grow to 136 centimetres with a 90 centimetre tail. Clouded leopard, snow leopard, spotted seal, it is the only seal species 
that breeds in China. It is a true seal, which means it doesn't have ears and it can't use its flippers to walk. Indian Crested Porcupine There are three species found in China. This one and the Asiatic Brush-tailed Porcupine and the Malayan Porcupine. Hedgehog They are easily recognised by their spines, which are hollow hairs made stiff with keratin. Their spines are not poisonous or barbed and unlike the cools of a porcupine, do not easily detach from their bodies. The hedgehog's back contains two large muscles that control the position of the quills. All species of hedgehogs can roll into a tight ball in self-defense, causing all of the spines to point outwards. This protects the tucked in face, feet and belly, which are not quilled. Siberian tiger. They are found in the northeast along the border with Russia and North Korea. With reproduction, they will mate all year round. During estrus, the female will give off a more powerful scent than usual. The male will check her urine and genital area to know if she is ready for mating. Over three to four days, tigers can copulate up to 250 times and as frequent as every five to seven minutes. This frequency is facilitated by the baculum bone in the penis. The Siberian tiger is genetically close to the extinct Caspian tiger. The largest Siberian tiger was three and a half meters long and a tail length of one metre, weighing more than 300 kilograms. The modern day Siberian tiger is much lighter due to abundance of prey and size of prey, as well as the Caspian tiger which is extinct. There is a South China tiger and an Indo-Chinese tiger. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments and answer all of them. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.